Yo, GP does. <clears throat> now I can't see. Let's get this big brush I have set aside. Put it in my mask. Okay. So this one is Mickey Mouse. And I think instead of just doing the face, like, I gotta do... Even if I could see, just doing the face like I normally do would be a little uncanny valley. Like, how far do you zoom out? Do you get all the ears? Or do you zoom up on the extra, f make the face extra realistic? <laughs> all right, let's see. Wait. I can't. So let's just make a grid. And then this one here. That's my grid. Actually, <clears throat> that's not going to help me at all. Okay. <laughs> so that's the top. That's the mid. So I think in the mid should be the top of his head. And then he's got ears. And then he's got the rest of his head. This is all his face is going to be so tiny. And then he's got a body. And then he's got a diaper and buttons, right? Uh-oh, did I not study the picture for long enough? He's got big yellow shoes. That didn't look very shoe-like, did it? Maybe they need laces. And then he's kind of like Michael Jackson. He's got gloves on, but they're white. We don't even need to put any paint here if we don't want to. The um, message will get across. I don't know if the gesso will age in the... I don't know. This will probably be hanging up in a museum sooner than later. Let's just be honest. Um... Oh, here's something I could use your help with. I'm thinking of starting a new Pokemon save file, and I want to paint the Pokemon that I come across my journey along the way. What would be the optimal... Like, it could would it just be Picasso? Would it be... Who else paints? GP does? Um... Michelangelo, Donatello, <laughs> wait, those are Ninja Turtles, oh, wait, but they're based off famous artists though, right? Isn't Picasso a Ninja Turtle? How long do I have to be an artist before they name a Ninja Turtle after me? That's all I want to know. Oh wait, does the skill, is there a skill involved? Fuck, there's probably skill involved. All right, so there's like, right there, I want grass. And then up here, I want sky. Oh, and then I think just in the corner. Oh no, I think the, su the sun should be a circle in the painting. Hmm. I was reading an article somewhere about artists and what that means when they um, paint suns in their paintings. But then I didn't actually read the article or anything. They just, it was just a clickbait title. And then I'm like, hmm. It seems very amateurish to me or very childlike, you know? And that's something I was attempting to do in the last year of my painting was just kind of reinduce, re reinduce, reintroduce some childlike whimsy into my painting. Believe it or not, a lot of my earliest paintings have a lot of childlike whimsy in it. All right. So before we get too far... Oh yeah, I forgot my... Um, hmm. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? My background brush. I'm going to have to wash this one and use it a few times. So first I'm going to do is go to the top of my painting, my paint palette, and that's just yellow. And then just in the top corner, just a big yellow. And then like, there we go. 
Yes. We're on to something. Put some yellow and some blue. Mix it together. And then boom. Green. And this is grass. I don't know if I need... Oh, no, there's going to be a lot of yellow down here. We'll try to paint that last. I'm going to be yellow for the uh, shoes. Oh, yeah, I got to make sure. I want to get it. I don't really want to see too much um, canvas down here, especially in this corner. All right. Leave space. And then, yeah, just underneath, too. Just some straight green be a nice nice painting I think if Bob Ross were here he would say nice things to me he'd be like wow you really are you really are pushing boundaries he'd, he'd say this in his vice he'd be like <clears throat> wow there really is a nice little bit of grass down there and a nice little sun in that painting I'm trying to get the, the power is currently out in my um, area and I'm trying to finish up. So I'm just kind of, I negated a few things for this. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm not wearing a shirt. I didn't want to get paint on my shirt and I got all settled in and nestled in. <laughs> Everything was ready except for my shirt. I'm like, I'm just going to take it off. Okay. So for the next one, we need some more blue. I'll put it down here this time. And then I need a little bit of white. Now mix that together. And this will be the sky. So first I want to go in the top corner and go around that sun a bit. I don't want to mix too much paint. But then again, I don't want to leave too much. Okay, let's just stop right there. Wash the brush again because I'm sure I got a bit of yellow in there. All right, blue, white, mix it together. And now I'm going to the top corner. This should be no paint here, right? This is just the background. There's no green. It's just nice, fresh blue. And I don't want to get too close to Mickey. Oh wait, no, I do want to get close to Mickey. Because I'm just gonna cover, yeah. Oh yeah, there's gotta be sky over here all the way down. I don't wanna get too close to grass yet. But yes. Okay. Let's just mix up a little bit more. Oh wait, nope, that's not right. Down here. Gotta remember. Why isn't there anybody? You know what I need? <laughs> oh, that's what I should do. I should get somebody to guide me. Do <laughs> a featuring episode. You want to be featured in the next episode? <laughs> I'm like, okay. Am I doing it right? You'll be watching the camera. Maybe even watching the whole show. Just one person. And the trick is, you got to guide me. Okay. I think, I think we're doing pretty good. I'm just like, okay, yeah, there's a lot of... I just... Okay. Now I want to get a little close to the green. That's okay. And yeah, that's it. We're done with that big brush. The background is done. Mickled mouse is about to be pickled. Um, all right, Mickled mouse. <coughs> I wonder if I could reach my pot from here. I might have finished it. Oh, that was my bong. All right. Now, I didn't I take out a brush earlier? And then I found the other brush? Did I put it back? Who cares? I'll find it later. I didn't really have a plan of attack for this. Um, do I go... Let's go black. Like, right away. I have a feeling I already went for black, though. 
did I not go for black in my painting already? There's yellow sun. That was the first thing, then the grass, and then the blue. Okay, time for Mickled Mouse. So let me feel the screws here, the second screw. This is where the top of Mickled Mouse's head is. Let me just paint that. I don't feel like it had much black there. Okay, yeah, it's got lots. Okay, feel. That's the first, second of the screw. Now there's a big circle up here of just ear. Yeah, all right. Get some more black. And the second ear would be right about here. I hope that's attached to the head. It's just, yeah. All right. Mickey's got a head. All right. So that's the top one. All right, yep. Second one. That's the head. So right around here, I think, would be the body. And then, subtly, he's got an arm on each hand. Okay. And then while we got some black left, we'll just put some down here for his legs. His legs might be a little bit thick now that I think about it. But I think that's it for the black for now. I think that's it for the black for now. One of these brushes is broken actually. I forgot to throw it out. I hope we don't get across it. Okay. So we left a space for some pants. I'm just going to go straight for some red. So, too low. Right about here. Some big, goofy pants. Nice and red. And that's it. That's it for the red. Um, let's get another decent sized brush out. Need some new brushes. I need to go to town and buy brushes. <laughs> brushes. I should just buy like a big 200 pack of brushes or something. Or just buy some quality brushes for a change. Okay. Um, yellow. And then we're going to the bottom. He's got, we just have some big yellow orbs down here. And that's it, shoes. All right, he's got a weird face. We gotta address the face in the room. All right. Like this is that I'm actually gonna have to make some proper colors here now. Here's some yellow. And here's some white. And here's some red. I find this red not to be too aggressively red, which I kind of like. Apparently, this is supposed to be an artist quality paints that I'm using. I'm not giving them free advertising, but it's pretty nice paint. Okay, so this should be human flesh color. So right around here would be the face. And I just want to get some flesh color everywhere. Don't really have to worry about two definition right now. I just want face color everywhere. Uh-oh. I hope I didn't mess up everything there. Everything's canceled. Show's over. I messed up a little bit and I'm embarrassed. Um, here's some white. Now I'm going back to the face. A lot of face in this. And that's just the um, whites of the eyes. And I'm going to go down to the pants, actually, to the red, and put a little buttons. That should be buttons right on the red. Little white buttons right on the red. All right.
fine person. Just some blue, actually. Just plain blue. All right. Going to the screws. Just into the middle of the painting there. Just right next to the whites. Just some blue. That's some color. Oh, fuck. Okay. Now, with a smaller brush, going back for some black. This is for the face. Dot, dot, and then the nose, not in the nose. Maybe we should have a little smiley face. Because it is Mickey Mouse after all. And done. That is a painting of Mickey Mouse. I can't look at it yet, though. I'm not quite done. Um, let me just clean that last brush. I'm sure I got paint everywhere with the towel. into the red, right onto the bottom part where there's green paint everywhere. Oh. G. P. Now it's official. Please don't come at me. Uh-oh. I think that landed in the paint tray, it should be okay. I'm not going to bother trying to pick it up. It'll just create a bigger mess. Time for the big reveal. Remember to like and subscribe, GP does. It's like a creepy pasta, Mickey Mouse. I think it's another, well, we tried. It's another well we tried. Thank you so much, everybody. A uh, shout out to Queen Kari, who suggested painting Mickey Mouse. The first actual suggestion, I guess uh, m uh, the butt of uh, Molly was also a suggestion. Also, a shout out to Tasman307 and Hold My 100 Bomb, my financial advisors. Uh, Queen Kari as well, much love. Um, always there, much love. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, what I do after these paintings sessions is I clean up a little bit. Oh, here's that paintbrush that landed. Um, I'm glad there's some yellow there for the sun. You know, this does come across. This is, um, I don't know. I don't think Mickey Mouse could get mad at me. Don't come knocking at my house, Mickey Mouse. This isn't close enough to you. I could sell this as original art. MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art. I'm naked. <laughs>